schedule to find. It's just, I I'm not going to admit to it, but I might have. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a possibility that once again this week, I mean, two true freshmen playing quarterback over there. What was your assessment? Um, it seemed like, I mean, there were some bumps in the road that were to be expected, but it seemed like for the most part they acquitted themselves pretty well. Yeah, definitely. You know, Riley and Julius were both kind of thrown in the mix there, and I thought they came out and played well. There was uh, times where they made some mistakes and faced some adversity, but they kind of handled that well and finished the game strong. So, um, you know, I'm proud of them, but at the same time, you got to learn from the mistakes they did make during that game and just keep moving forward and keep improving. What do you see from Ramsey at quarterback in Indiana? You know, he's a dual threat guy. He's definitely kind of their, the motor of that offense. He can beat you in both the run and the passing game. So um, he's going to be a big challenge for us. And I think this is going to be our biggest challenge as, you know, the run and the passing game from a quarterback standpoint with uh, what he brings to the table. So we got to do a good job of reading our keys, making plays in the run and the pass game, and be ready for that um, kickoff come Saturday. What's it like for you guys defensively when there's – so many guys coming in and out of the lineup, injuries, things like that. Oh, uh, it's tough. You know, it's it's kind of hard to get a rhythm going, but at mm -hmm. the same time, you know, that's the philosophy here at Iowa football. It's next man in. Um, we know guys are going to get injured. Guys are going to have to move around and make adjustments. I think we handled that well last week. And then we're going to have to do the same thing this week with some guys not in the mix. So just got to prepare um, like you're the starter. And when you get your opportunity call, be ready to go. How do you make sure that communication is where it needs to be when you could look around and you know, there are three or four guys that are playing that weren't playing last week or that are new. Uh, it just all comes down to preparation during the week, whether it's in the film room, on the practice field, or, you know, watching extra tape together as a group. Just making sure we're all on the same page. We know um, the calls that we're going to get and the adjustments we got to make when they shift or motion. So just communicating, making calls confidently, and everybody doing their job. You communicate with the middle linebacker typically?